Where shall we go next? Let's go back to the maintenance office. Mr. One might have that file open. Very well. Oh, click. Oh. We return to the maintenance office and explain what outside to Miss... And explain what <laughs> outside to Mr. One. Grammar. I see. It seems that our worst predictions have come to bear their evil fruit. Evil fruit. Our worst predictions? Do you know something? We can predict things without knowing that they will happen. Confusing predictions with reality can be fatal, young one. I've been wondering for a while. Um, Mr. One, are you really just a maintenance worker? Hmm? Hmm. Music stops. <laughs> hmm. An innocent student was shot. I suppose it's time I introduced myself properly. What is he, like, head of the other party? <laughs> what? Lee... Leon JB. Uh. I am Leon JB, one of the greatest soaring wings of the Dove Party. S class agent, pleased to meet you. Well, the it's a zombie's Dove music. Party? He looks like a cockatiel to me. I have heard of this Dove Party, the secret organization that advocates living in harmony with humans, correct? You are well informed, young one. Hmm. It is the noble's duty to be well informed. I feel like I must have missed something. <laughs> there are two schools of thought driving the politics of today. The Dove Party, who believe we should live peacefully with humans, and the Hawk Party, who believe we should exterminate them. Exterminate? But I thought the wars with humans were over. Do you really believe that everyone just decided to live happily together? Yes, I do. I'd hope. Sadly, that is not how the world works. There are still many disagreements between birds and humans, and so the hawks and the doves have come to the fore. We discovered hawk activity at the school, and so I was dispatched to investigate. Dispatched? Dispatched. And what we feared would happen has happened. Wait a minute, are you saying the hawk party has something to do with St. Pigeonations? This seems hard to believe. This school is known for its tolerant policies towards humans. It even, well, it even welcomed Kit Kat as a representative. I cannot confirm or deny it, but there are a growing number of Hawk operatives attached to the school. The Headmaster's secret file will probably answer some of your questions. Oh, you got it open? Thank you. That should Music speed things died. up a little. Yeah, let's look inside. The human representative, to help humans and birds advance hand and feather towards a bright and happy future, we have decided to enroll one human in the school starting in the year 2087. They will be the human representative. The pandemic has long since ended, but we must nonetheless be cautious of the risk of infection with Sumatera influenza when making our selection. We will pick a strong, healthy 15-year-old human who displays hereditary resistance to Sumatera influenza. The human representative. This is talking about Kit Kat, no matter how we look at it. 2087, that's when we enrolled here. Come on, let's read the rest. The chosen individual will be a symbol of human concession to wit, a hostage for birds. If the representative is to die in the school, the entire campus will be sealed off and all the birds inside will be given to the humans as prisoners. Hmm. Well. The seal will be lifted 12 hours after the death is confirmed and the birds will be delivered to the the school will be declared an extraterritorial zone, and avian protests of any human reprisal will not be tolerated. If Kit Kat is to die? So her death was connected to the dome after all. And... The important part of this final gruesome exchange. Basically, if anything happens to Kit Kat, the representative of humanity, then the entire school takes the blame. So it seems. So it would seem. They trap us in here to give the humans time to arm themselves. The dome will open in a few hours, but what awaits us outside is a horde of bloodthirsty monkeys. How humorous. It is not humorous at all. Hello. So this is the true face of her enrollment here. Here. I rather think that this whole thing was arranged to widen the divide between humans and birds from the start. Indeed. Things here go deeper than we ever realized. As you know, the school's public stance is very liberal on the human cohabitation issue. In fact, 
The school's principal financer, the Ichijou. How do you say that? Ichijou? What? Ichijou? Ichi Ichijou group has been heavily involved in human charities for the past 20 years. I've investigated the history of St. Pigeon Nations extensively, and I can confirm that it was founded with the ideal of coexistence with humans. But the Hawk Party has been sending agents here for a long time, eating away at the system, like a dreadful virus. We have had information about this document for some time. It is real. It's kind of hard to take all this in at once. Just to make sure, for 12 hours, the dome will remain closed. During that time, humans will gather to take revenge. And then... When the dome opens, they will kill every bird in sight. And with that, another era of war between birds and humans will begin. That student who got shot when he flew out the hatch. Yep, Wolfhound. There are already people waiting out there with guns. Like, that just flat out answered Wolfhandle's question. <laughs> yeah. She was discovered this morning, and the dome was raised soon after. The time is not from when she died, but from when her death is confirmed. The evacuation was but about two hours ago? Yeah, it was right at the start of second period, around 10 o'clock. And so we have until 10 p.m. before we're all killed. You seem awfully calm, Sakia, yes. even after watching some birdie get shot. Remain calm, Koara. Do nothing but worry about what's gone, gone wrong and you'll be next. I do not know who did this, but they will rue the day they decided to tangle with a LaBelle. What time is it, Mr. Leon? Just past two. We have only eight hours, then. Eight hours. We have to find an escape route in eight hours or we'll be killed. But if we go outside, we'll be killed anyway. Just getting outside isn't enough. There has to be another way. My Just glue her back together, it's fine. <laughs> Pretend, make her a puppet. I'm fine. Exactly. Nothing <laughs> happened. It's like weekend at Bernie's. That's what I'm <laughs> My dictionary does not contain the word impossible. We shall continue okay. the investigation. Uh. You're very decisive, Sakia. I'm glad you're here. Hmm. Do not attempt to flatter me, Kawara. I'm not. I mean it. Aww. We found the connection between Kit Kat's death and the dome. There's clearly some sort of intrigue behind it all. I don't want to die without knowing the truth. I mean, would it matter? <laughs> yeah. We'd be dead. <laughs> We'd better go now. We have to solve this before we run out of time. You are a promising lad. If I were to give you a piece of advice, well, don't miss the forest for the trees. What? You could, like, not speak in riddles if you're trying to actually help me. <laughs> don't I'm miss dead. the forest for the trees? Sakia, there's one more file. Um... Operation Potiful? What is that? I don't know. That's what it says on here. The bottom half is torn off. We can't read it at any rate. I don't feel like it has anything hopeful anyway. That's an awfully friendly name for a confidential document, though. Stupid Japanese. Damn. Racist? He is. Look, it's spelled hurtful. Whoa, it is. I thought Hotiful just meant heartful. I suspect that we will find many of the, the we will find many of the things to come quite hurtful. <laughs> right. It was probably something important, given that it was locked. Given that it was in the locked file. Indeed. Mm -hmm. I hadn't heard of this hurtful thing okay. before, but you might want to look into the school's history. The school's history. At any rate, the headmaster must have known that the, what would happen after Kit Kat died. The escape hatch was no doubt put in place to allow him to alone to escape. Which means that maybe he had a guarantee of safety for himself? I don't want to suspect an elder, but it does look that way. Everything going on here is connected. We may well find something of use in the records. Right, let's go look at the school documents then. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only dove agent in the school. I'm sure the other will help you as well. Good luck, gentlemen. But Sakuya doesn't want to admit it. Yeah. Time to go look for more clues. Charlie Maybe Brown Christmas tree. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It was just telling us to save. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we did just now, so. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Leon said to investigate the school's history, but how? Where do we look? The headmaster's office. 
Or the library, perhaps. We already looked through the headmaster's office. Did you see anything like school records or anything? I would have thought they would be here. They would be there, but I don't recall seeing any. The library it is, then. And the mystery we have left to solve is... The blood strain... The bloodstained stranger Oko saw going into the infirmary yesterday. Exactly. What with the headmaster dying, an army of gun-toting bipeds showing up to turn us all into jerk chicken, and it all... I almost forgot about it. And the scarecrow, who still don't know where he came from. He appeared along with the dome, and no doubt he's connected to it. If we continue to investigate it, I'm sure his oranges will become clear. And Kit Kat's gruesome end is the best clue we have. For now, we should forget the puppet and chase after the blood-stained bird. Right. That's that decided, then. We'll go to the library to read up on the school's history and we'll look for that bird. It probably doesn't matter, but which should we do first? Um, let's go to the doesn't library, it. I guess. The library? Okay. Yeah, we'll go there. The library. I wonder if Nageki's at the gym yet. <laughs> Nageki's dead, sweetie. Nageki? Who? He doesn't have a pure I heart. <laughs> I met him in the library earlier. He stayed behind? An unusually defensive... Dense. <laughs> An unusually dense individual, to be sure. The library's a little ways away from here. We spend some time jogging through the hallways. Oh, are we gonna see Scarecrow Man? We gonna see Scarecrow Man? Scarecrow Man? Nope. I've been trying to ignore it, but the dim light makes the library even creepier than the rest of the school. Getting hung up over little things in a time like this is a sign of weak nerves. Really? Well then, where are the school documents? Hmm. Probably not where just any birdie can look at them. They are probably somewhere in the back then. How dull. Come, let us search. Right. Books, books, and none of them what we're looking for. I was hoping it would be in this corner, but apparently not. And here, a line of incredibly dusty encyclo- That's odd. There are nine of them. Volume six is missing. Oh, that's weird. Did some birdie misfile them? Anyway, St. Pigeonation's history. It's not back here with the large volumes, so maybe it's a smaller book. It's not here. You never left? Is that a problem? Well, not really, but I told you earlier there's an emergency going on. Fuck Ariana. Hmm? I can't tell if he doesn't realize what's going on or just doesn't care. The records. Huh? Keep looking there and you'll never find them. So you know where they are? Yep. Well, since he's here even now, I imagine he basically lives in so it's hardly surprising that he knows where to find things. I don't have much time. Could you tell me where to find them? By request. Request? Well, I'm requesting it. You don't know what that is? He gazes at me with eyes like black holes of cosmic disdain. You can only get them by request. They're not kept out there. Out here. Then, where are they kept? Behind the reception desk. In the back. It's not locked, so go ahead. There are a number of bookshelves behind the desk, it's true. Thank you, Nageki. Really. Don't worry about it. And he's gone. Oh, damn. You've been mumbling to yourself ever since we split up. Please try to remain in charge of your faculties, Kawara. I almost said facilities oh. again. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was talking to him. Talking? To the bookshelves? Surely there are better uses for your energy. No, Nageki was telling me where to find the- There's no one else here. Cease this bizarre monodrama. Um... He lacks a pure heart. Well... What is he talking about? Nageki is standing right next to me. It's not like he's behind a shelf or something. I was worried he was a figment of my imagination for a minute, but he just told me where to find the records. But Sakuya... Let's find out. Can I ask you something, Nageki? Yes. Are you a hallucination? That's... If I was, 
That would mean you're asking a hallucination whether or not he's a hallucination. Yeah, that's right. It does seem a little weird. Doesn't matter. Maybe I am, or maybe I'm not. That doesn't answer anything. This doesn't usually happen. I've never been able to talk to a bird I've just met before. I think I will remember everything soon. What about you? Have you found the thing you forgot yet? Nageki, do you know something about that? Huh? He disappeared. The thing I forgot. That's exactly what the doctor said, too. Why did Nageki know about that? It wasn't just a coincidence, was it? Am I forgetting something important about all this? I don't think I can dismiss him as just a hallucination. Request only books. This shelf? Looks like it. I see a lot of the same books as were in the headmaster's office. Chronology of St. Pigeonations. This? Let's see. 2080. Founding of the school. Same year. Ichi Jiao? I think Kitsuku. so. Kitsuku. Mm. Inaugurated as headmaster. 2180? Much more recent than I had thought. Only eight years? I hadn't known either. Aside from that, it's all transfer student records and sports scores. Is there really a clue in here? In there. A clue, a clue! Wait, Sakia, look at this. <laughs> 2183, medical center shut down due to fire. Medical center? Does the school have something like that? I don't think so. There was no <clears throat> mention of it in the student guide. I suppose it was never reopened. Does it say anything else? Um, right here. Damage from the fire. The book presents us with a new mystery, as if to taunt our inability to hold a new sort of mystery. 2183, medical center shut down due to fire. Freshman Fujishiro Nageki died in the basement where the fire started. Didn't I just hear that name? The exact same, but that's... Nageki died five years ago? Then what is the Nageki I kept... Then what is the Nageki I keep meeting today? He didn't deny that he was a hallucination. Sakio can see him, which means he's... a ghost. Don't say such dreadful things. It's unscientific. Do dis... What? To de... De... Believerne? Believerne? Don't ask me. I don't don't ask me. We're betting yeah. our lives on this research, you know? I won't have any occult... I won't have any occult rubbish brought into it. Oh, I should erase this pentagram then? <laughs> but I think he knew something. If he is the same bird, then he could be the key to solving this mystery. Pretty sure he said this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> or I don't believe this. So you intend to rely on some invisible ghost? There are limits, Kawara! Handy dandy notebook. Clue. I spent some time looking for him in the library, but couldn't find him. He's always found me, rather than the other way around. I'll just have to wait for him to show up again. Freaking ghost. Whatever he feels like Never it. there when you need them. <laughs> the bloodstained bird, hmm. Do you have an idea? I feel like I should. It's not something I'd encounter normally, but for some reason. Don't I know some birdie like that? Don't we know some birdie like that? What, somebody who's always covered in blood? Mm-hmm. Was an angel? <laughs> yeah. Vague, as always. We do have a time limit here. We must not fall behind. I know, I know. If I remember what it is, I'll, s I'll say right away. Maybe Yuya was still in there? Let's go ask him again. He did say he was there until he returned home. If anyone went in, he should have seen them. However, he said that he saw nothing. Nothing. He said that he saw nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> if what it said is true, then he was lying. Which would mean that the doctor was lying too. Steve? From what? That. Hmm. Very well. 
Steve from Blue's Clues. Oh! Yuya. Salutations. How goes the investigation? Well, just who do you think I am? Yeah, yeah, unlike me, you're a very capable bird. Yuya, we wanted to ask you something. Oh? I'll answer anything that doesn't violate my privacy, so ask away. Did you really not see anything yesterday after school? I'm not sure what you mean. I thought the doctor and I already verified each other's innocence. We were in the infirmary the entire time. We talked to San earlier. He said he saw a blood-stained stranger going into the infirmary yesterday. Did you see anything like that? Um, nope, sorry. Could you be the blood-stained bird yourself? Yikes, no, as you can see, I'm not hurt anywhere at all. Besides, he said he saw this bird go into the infirmary, not going... going... wait, what? He saw these... Going to the infirmary, not Oh, into versus the going infirmary. into, okay. He said he saw this bird going to the infirmary, not going into the infirmary, right? Yeah, he did. Anyway, I didn't see anything. There's not much more I can say. Right, Doctor? Yes, that's right. No one came yesterday. Why are they, like, on each other's side all of a sudden? Suspicious. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I don't think we'll find anything more here, Sakia. Let's move on. In indeed. <laughs> Did those two really not see anything yesterday? If there had actually been some bloodstained stranger, then that would mean that Yuya and the doctor are hiding something. Dun dun dun. Steve is bay. It's true. Where do we... Hmm. The medical center seems like a good place to go now. Indeed. Where is it? That's the problem. I'd never heard of it before either. Sounds rather large. I wouldn't expect it to be that hard to find. The record book said the fire broke out in the basement. And if the building was burnt to the ground, it should have said so. It should still be here, then. Assuming it wasn't demolished. Are there any unused buildings in the on the campus? Unused buildings? Hmm. Oh yeah, that old hall. Old hall? That's what we call it. It's by the back gate, and it's not used for... What's wrong? The school hasn't even been around for ten years! What reason does it have for having an old hall? Now that you mention it, that is kind of strange. Come, guide me there. This is it. It doesn't really look like a medical center. It's pretty much the same as the main building, yeah. So we can we like use the same photos? Yeah. <laughs> then we shall break it down. I just had the image of Tim Curry being like, then we'll just have to break it down! And then like throwing himself against the door and clue and, <laughs> and hurting his floor. shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh You're starting God. to sound like a delinquent, Sakia. Also, Tim Curry. <laughs> what? What did I say? Don't worry about it. We'd probably be suspended for breaking in here, but this is an emergency. Okay, there's like been a dismembered person. I think that all bets are off. Yeah, a little at bit. This point. Dismembered person, our principal's killed, and a student yeah. got shot trying to escape. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> oh, I thought. Never mind. I heard glass breaking. I got excited. We don't have a choice. Communism <laughs> is just a red herring. It's awfully dusty in here. It has been left unused for five years. Hmm, it appears they ha that they didn't leave much behind. Everything's empty. I wonder if they cleared everything out when they sealed the building. This all looks pretty much the same as in the main building. Bah! Did we come here for nothing? Well, let's look around a little more. Look, this door still has a sign on it. I guess it was the reference room. I do not relish in the prospect of wandering about this mausoleum of school rooms, but very well. It's even dustier in here. The shelves are marked with dates. Perhaps they once held medical records. There's nothing left now, though. And... Operation Hotiful. Huh? Among the rows of dates, sure enough, there's a shelf labeled Operation Hotiful. Empty as well. It would have been asking too much to hope to find anything anyway. Operation Hotiful. I wonder what it is. Who knows? 
Something put in place along with the human representative business, so no doubt it was nothing good. Is Operation Hotiful connected to this medical center? What if it's the source of the mystery we're tangled in now? My head hurts. The only things left are... archaic medical journals. Huh? It's the encyclopedia. An odd place to keep one. Wait, look at the volume numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. What? Does this unpleasant arrangement hold some meaning? I saw them like this in the library, too. A bunch of old encyclopedias? Yeah. Can I look at these for a bit? Do as you please. The ones in the library had the same binding. And in the place of Volume 9, there's an extra copy of Volume 6. Look, this copy of Volume 6 has a library sticker on it. Perhaps it came from the library, then? Someone must have brought it in here when the medical center was still open. They probably switched it with Volume 9. An unpleasant piece of mischief, to be sure. Yeah. The other volumes all seem as they should. There probably isn't anything in the extra copy of Volume 9, but maybe we should go see if it came from here. When we get back to the main building, let's go check the library. Provided it isn't a mere waste of time. We leave the reference room and continue our investigation of the medical center. We've searched the entire first floor and have yet to find what we're after. The stairs into the basement? Apparently the fire that closed this building five years ago started in the basement. But we haven't found it yet. The elevator doesn't have a button for it either. How do we get in? Perhaps we can't anymore. Huh? Look at that wall. The wall? It looks like a normal concrete wall to me. Don't you see it? Stupid peasant. Rude. You didn't see the dead guy. <laughs> what about it? Think back to the building's exterior and the second floor. There shouldn't be a wall here. It's small, but there's a space behind it. Behind it there. Uh. Must have been sealed off after the fire. Now that he mentions it, this wall is a slightly different color than the rest. Which would make sense if it had been put in later. So the stairs are beyond here? It seems likely. Isn't this a bit much for cleanup after some fire? Same thing. We probably won't be able to break it to break this down. If we can't get in there, I doubt we'll find anything more of use in there. At least we found that thing from the ba headmaster's documents again. Yeah, let's head back. Yes! Did you hear something? Yes. Someone else just broke in here. This could be bad. We're in a dead end with concrete all around. We need to get to somewhere with a window fast. Run! Yes! I don't know who it is. I'm gonna just assume it's Angel. Okay. <laughs> Stop! Ah, uh, it's here! Wait, wait, calm down, Kawara. It's small! <laughs> yeah. Angel! So it is. Too small to be the scarecrow. Huh? Aren't you from two to... I am the crimson fallen angel! Angel! <laughs> I knew it. The manga club boy from the class next door. <laughs> he is famous around the school for being a nutcase. But what is he doing in here? I think I'm going to have a headache. Textoris Melod Melodia Fenaris. Who, me? Don't make me say that again. <laughs> Good for you, Kawara. He came all this way to give you a title. Shh. It's not good at all. Nothing but trouble will come of it. I don't know why you came here, Angel, but it's dangerous. We're supposed to be in the gym with everybody else, so come on, let's go back. I am not allowed rest. Not until I've fulfilled my duty. In accordance with the Pact of Old, I must seal you here now. Textoris Melodia Fenaris, Undertaker. Oh my god, I'm the Undertaker. Yes. <laughs> Undertaker? If that's it, then, uh, I'm gonna need a wrestling outfit. Yeah! So the time has come at last. 
It will not be stopped now, Crimson Angel of Judeca. Come. Why? What? I don't know what's happening. Angel Crimson Fallen Angel appeared. Angel uses Dark Void Shockwave? Ryota takes 24 damage. Why? I don't know, but there's no, like, right Dear or God. wrong to this. Angel's music. Uh, so it doesn't matter what we pick? Uh, I, I, probably Blue Moon Slash Deathbringer. I don't want to kill Angel. All right, well, Blue Moon Slash then. Let's do it. Ryota unleash, unleashes Blue Moon Slash. Angel takes 78 damage. Cease this, Jack acting, you wretched imbeciles. Sakia attacks. Ryota takes 260 damage. Ryota returns to his senses. Angel takes 295 damage? Angel is shaken. He shook. <laughs> shook. Shook. It's super it's effective. super effective. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I am shocked, Kawara, Shook. to think that you would even go along with this farce. What? He disrupted my territory. I got carried away by Angel before I even noticed. Influencing the very reality of his surroundings is a frightful power indeed. You lose on. What did you come here to do? After what you just did, I think you may be our prime suspect. I came here to do but one thing. I must follow the demon spores. A whole new variety of what the heck are you talking about? Perhaps you could explain in normal Japanese. Your dialect is somewhat opaque. I don't think it's just his dialect, Sakia. The end is calling me. That is all. That is the cross I must bear. He stares off into space as if gazing at something far away. Maybe that basically means that he's a thrill seeker? So you are a moth lured to buy candlelight, Luzin? No, I am stained in crimson, clad in night, unforgiven. My eternal blood seal calls me to purgatory. Ah, more crazy talk. It's not exactly a blood seal. That blood-stained chest is just the way Bleeding Heart's plumage looks. Oh. What is it, Quara? Blood-stained chest. Uh, Sakia, do you think maybe the blood-stained stranger Sansal was... Huh. Angel, where were you yesterday after school? What were you doing? Battling minor demons a ball and following the demon spores. Clearly. Mm -hmm. Could you rephrase that? Rufa, the tree of blight, called out to me. He's asking you to say it using words we understand. Hallowed magician of white, your anger now. It is the power of the demon spores. I think it is the power of you, Angel. But... I must compromise. I was in the place the ignorant may refer to as the infirmary. I knew it. I think we need to talk to you. Come. We are talking to him. <laughs> and so we left the medical center, Sakia dragging Angel behind him. <laughs> like dragging him by his <laughs> collar or something. Yeah. That's all I imagine. Oh boy. Cuckoo! This is one. Uh, this one. This is the bloodstained stranger Okusansa. That's that, then. We need to know what you did yesterday. Did you go to the infirmary? Go into the infirmary? If I could, I would have. But only the chosen one can stop the demon spores. In other words, he didn't. Useless. The gate was sealed with the power of darkness. However, Edel Blau did venture within. Edel Blau? Who's that? Explain in terms known to sane individuals, please. The Apostle of the Blue Sky, Edel Blau. She also goes by Kit Kat Kit Kat. <laughs> Kit Kat went into... What? <laughs> Every time. Whoa. It makes me laugh. Huh. Uh, I'm this close to slapping Angel. I love Angel! Oh, I should click. Kit Kat was in the infirmary yesterday after school. But the doctor and Yuya said that no one came and nothing happened. They're lying. Dun dun dun. Fourth class end. Booyah. Technically halfway through. But I think some of these go. What the fuck is that quick shit? I don't know. Some doki doki crap right there. <laughs> it's like a legit glitch. <sighs> yeah. He's too awesome to slap unless you're chosen. It's true. <laughs> you're different from those peasants, Sakuya. 
You were chosen from the day you were born. You must remain conscious of this. Yes, father. We are the chosen ones. It is our duty to guide the foolish common folk. Yes, father. Look at them, crawling in the mud. There is no value in their lives. Were it not for our compassion, they would die as miserably as they live. Yes, father. Their very blood is tainted. The world is not yours. You must never to speak with them again. Do you understand? Yes, father. Plot twist, Kit Kat. Was Saki his father the whole time? <laughs> Surpri- surprise. <laughs> surprise. To Japan? Yes. You will be staying there for some time. Arrangements have already been made for your education. Remember, you must such as to bring honor to our <laughs> family, Sakia. Okay. Yes, father. <sighs> also, Dr. Iwamine is in residence at the institution you will be attending. He is a prestigious doctor. It would not be exaggerating to say that our current glory is thanks in part to him. Do not disrespect him. Yes, father. It is Draco. Draco and Shu is Snape. <laughs> like hardcore. I mean, yeah, except Shu's actually evil. Angel saw Kit Kat going into the infirmary yesterday, and then the door was locked. The doctor and Yuya must have seen her. What happened in there? Well, let me tell you. They must both be lying. Dots. Yuya has been helping us all this time, and I don't want to sus- and I don't want to suspect him. But he's clearly been hiding the truth. Could Yuya be covering for the doctor? We don't know that for sure. The mongrel could be lying to cast doubt on Dr. Iwamine. It's not impossible, but... From what we've seen so far, the most likely conclusion is that they're working together. Sakia, you were the one who said we needed to remove our biases. We need to solve this. I am aware. I want to go confront them now, but with only Angel's testimony, our evidence is a little weak. They'll probably slip out of it again if we go now. They're both much more eloquent than I am, and they'll try to dodge the issue. Which means, we need to search the infirmary. Do you intend to go in without asking? Yeah. The more stealthily we do it, the better, right? Oh my gosh, stealth. Let me tell you how good I am at stealth. (laughs) If the doctor finds out, he'll come up with some way of stopping us for sure. Understood. I will go to the lab and keep them occupied while you search the infirmary. Thank you, Sakia. A moment, gentlemen. Mr. Leone, I have something for you. Sorry for being late. I was somewhat delayed. What are these? The first is the massive key. It should open just about any of the simple locks in the school and in a, and is as bright and massive as its owner. The other is a stun gun. If you need to protect yourself, use it. Heck yeah, stun shoe. Hell yeah. You will have more use for it than I. You, more use for those than I, Kawara. Hold on to them. Right. Thank you, Mr. Leon. Maybe I should write in the notes before I go to the infirmary. Oh, Do well, it. I already saved, so shut up. <laughs> oh, God. The hour of judgment has come! You cannot use the Dark Tree's power here. Return to the Void, Wallenstein. Well, he seems excited. <laughs> I wonder what the doctor is doing. Being slandered by Mr. Hagure, as you can see. Please stop breaking school property, Mr. Hagure. I have returned from Judeca to defeat you! As long as you live, Calam- Calamitus? Midas? I Cal- have no idea. Calamitus sorcerer! <laughs> the world will be wrapped in eternal despair! When he says things with such conviction, I almost find myself believing them. Please, that isn't funny. Yes, yes. Come on, Hagare. Let's go back to the gym, okay? No, stop! Do not throw me out like some wretched doll! Bye, Angel. Bye! I suspect he has suffered from megalomania since birth. Megalomania? Whatever do you mean? delusions of grandeur, eschewing societal standards. He lives his life in the midst of some bizarre fantasy. Perhaps it is genetic. There would be no helping it then, would there? 
He is unusually active in the destruction of his surroundings, especially given his physique. Eternal prejudice is a terrible thing, I suppose. He is no doubt exerting to the limits of his capacity at all times. The most dangerous part of his ability is to bring his surroundings into his fantasies. Though I seem to be less affected than you. Ah, uh, not in his route, but okay. <laughs> and since, although I invited him to the school, I have yet to find a use for him. The whole thing has been nothing but a waste of time. Did you say something just now, Doctor? Nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> Excuse me! Oh, hello, Shiragane. What's going on? Where did Kawara go? He is investigating another area at the moment. Only Dr. Iwamine and Nanaki here now. Is, isn't Sakazaki here? I think he's walking around to calm his nerves again. He's very brave to go out and be... To go out and about with that scarecrow on the loose. Not brave, just imprudent. Anyway, for now you can be Shu. Okay. <laughs> it's like one line. I know. Stupid mongrel. Stop pretending to be migratory and get back here so I can distract you. I want to, to preoccupy both of them. I want to occupy both of them, if possible. Oh, so he's trying to distract them. Right. But gotcha. at least they don't realize that we suspect them yet. Just the doctor Wait, should be so enough. Is, like, Ryota just, like, in the rafters? Like, what? I don't know. Or, like, in the ceiling? I like, guess he's just being suspicious. He's just being suspicious. Yeah. Dr. Uyumine, I came here to ask your opinion of something. My opinion? I fear I will not be of much use to you there. My body has never required me to visit the infirmary. I have not had much occasion to talk with the doctor since moving here, but I can read his expression perfectly well all the same. It says, I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> Where is Mr. Kawara? Did you have a falling out? He did seem to be suspecting me based on nothing but his own prejudice. A pity. I agree, sir. To doubt someone based merely on one's own preconceptions is believerness ah it's that word again believerness nonsense, sir I think is it is they... nonsense yeah probably yeah that's right I must be perfectly logical in all things you are renowned as the one of the most intelligent birds in this world doctor I do not think that you could be involved in such a grisly crime as this it is an honor to be so praised by the heir to the LaBelle family. Completely flat. Does he never speak with emotion? I hold a deep respect for you, Doctor. You might not be aware, but my father owes his life to your medicine. A few years ago, your work allowed the LaBelle family to continue on to even greater glory. Is that so? I had not known. I am afraid that I know little of the fates of the drugs that I develop. The life of but one bird may be but significant to you, but we of the LaBelle family will never forget. Ho ho ho. How wonderful. I take it your father is a figure of great respect. Of course. The family head must always be honored. It would seem that you hold your own biases even more dearly than Mr. Kawara holds his. <laughs> Almost like the foundation of your very existence. That. I would rather like to see the expression on your face when that foundation collapses. Oh. Dun dun dun. Drugs? That bird weed? <laughs> Drugs? Uh, okay. No, thank you. <laughs> locked. Has it been locked ever since the alarm this morning? The doctor went straight to the lab to begin the autopsy, and I think he's been with some birdie else ever since. Let's see, maybe that massive thing Mr. Leone gave me will do the trick. Yes! We got in. I love that vine, oh my god. She just broke Saki. Yes. <laughs> it's always been a little creepy, but it's even worse in this dim light. I need to look for evidence that Kit Kat was in here. Quickly. But where do I start? The longer I spend poking around at corners, the bigger the risk that I'll get caught. I need to remember, I've been in here a lot. Every time I got sick, where would the doctor hide something he didn't want anyone else to see? In his butt? 
Yeah. Didn't he forbid even his assistants from tu- uh, from touching his desk? It would seem he keeps his drawers locked tight. You're up, massive thing. Inside are medical records? He's probably supposed to keep personal information locked up. Though I never really thought of him as the respectful type. There are only one, two, three, four files. The names are Kawara Ryota, Kikat Kikat, Fujishiro Nageki, and Shirogani Sakuya. What? I'm not surprised to see a file on me in here, but Kit Kat and Sakuya never had any reason to be. And Fujishiro Nageki. Looking closely, Nageki's folder says St. Pigeon Nation's Medical Center on the side, while the others don't. And the date is from five years ago. Did he take this from the medical center? Since it's here, he must know something about the fire back then. Are the other three records from physical exams? They're full of strange symbols and numbers and I'm not sure what they mean. Huh? Sakia's has a second piece of paper in it. It looks like some sort of memo or... Oh, oh no. no, someone knocked yeah. me out. <laughs> yeah. A sudden blinding pain in the back of my head. I can't move. I fall, unconscious. Ryota, no. I fall. I fall. I fall. 